quite a bit you'll hear these lines we're in the key of G we'll do a quick analysis we're in the key of G we got the two chord a minor 7 D7 the 5 and the 1 so it's a 2 5 1 in the key of G and then it goes to the 4 chord the four the four chord. 2 5 1 to the relative minor F sharp minor 7 flat 5 B7, and I'm just doing what I call these four note grip shapes, E minor 7. And because I know I'm going to loop the progression, I am putting an E dominant 7 here that has a G sharp, the leading tone, which will then pull us back to A minor. And that's your A section. We have two, five, one, four, two, five, one. And that was one is E minus that I did a comping workshop last year and I demonstrated a whole bunch of comping rhythms with this concept. I actually, I think I just did two note, the two note voicings with it too, just. That's the Charleston rhythm. This is another path. Same, yeah, that was the same guy tones there, but it's just reversed because now I was starting on a different shape. So you'll see on the formulas there, like if you look at the first A section to the second A section, the third and the seventh, they just swap. <laughs> but so it's important to, to again, learn these in different places. I'll call it different inversions, you know. A minor seven here, A minor seven here. D7 here, D7 here. But again, just for today's lesson, I'm just gonna stay on that first route. This is all new for you. Uh, we just wanna be able to go. Um, it's going to be very melodic. Again, the thirds and the sevenths are so melodic. We'll, we'll try this. I mean, I'll demonstrate Fly Me to the Moon in a second because that's what the composer was doing, was just targeting thirds, all the things you are. Actually, this song too. That's the third, and then it becomes a seventh. Third, and then it becomes a seventh. <laughs> so the melody, third, then it becomes a seventh. And it's a flat seven, I'm just saying seven, so I don't have to say the word flat. And then it, to the third. So the melody again is targeting these guide tones. These are great notes, very ultra lyrical. It allows you to play and think simple lines. But of course, it's nice to have some other notes involved to make it interesting. But at first, just get, you just target these guide tones. Let's go for it. 
let's do the same practice method we just did. Let's start on the fourth string, just on the A section, and just get that line. You're gonna see it going down. <laughs> chromatic, it's quite often just a chromatic line. It always feels like it's going down, the resolution. And here we go. I'm just gonna play as written at first. Really melodic. Okay, I'm already adding a few notes. I'll try not to. And an open string. Let's do that again. Just keep it simple. B7. Next string, third. The third becomes this flat seven. And then down as that becomes, the third becomes a major seven. You can see it written there. The flat three, that becomes a flat seven. Again. Same note. Same note. Do some swells like a horn. Now I'm embellishing a little bit. Chromatic. Same note. Chromatic. G sharp. Now I'm doing neighbor tones. Above it, below it. These are target notes. Very motivic. Chromatic. My, my goal with this is just to introduce you to this topic with some demonstrations. Have you try it out while adding more notes in? I was choosing neighbor tones. Mo most of the time they were within the scale. We're in the key of G, so I was just choosing notes in the key of G, if you're wondering. However, sometimes I would add those chromatic notes. So that's another thing is, you know, kind of be aware of your G scale. <laughs> You know, I'm just staying in that area. So that that those were the notes that I was adding as filler. Um, and I was sometimes going above it, like I went. Da, ba, ba, da, da, 
There's chromatic. Then I did a scale. I love taking a motif and kind of bouncing back to a note. I'm, I'm going to take a look at If I Had You. We all love this song. I know you love it. Me too. Beautiful, beautiful song. And in this case, I don't have anything written out for it yet. So we're going to do this together. So how do we apply this guy tone stuff to If I Had You? We're looking at the chart here. And I'm actually going to stay on C for that whole measure. I'm not going to worry about that E flat dim. That's just to me a passing chord, not crucial. To the D minor 7, to the G7, that's nice. That's a 2-5. And then for the E minor 7, there. So again, now we have something like this. A 1, 2, 3, 4. Find those little simple lines that you can hang on. 